graph we need to look at is the acceleration time graph. We looked at displacement time graphs or position time graphs, uh, velocity time graphs, now acceleration time graphs. There's not a whole lot we do with acceleration time graphs. The main thing we do is uh, find the area. But let's look at the graph first. It's an acceleration time graph. It tells us what our acceleration is at any given time. Positive means forward, negative means backwards. So at zero seconds, I'm accelerating. So I am increasing my speed in the positive direction. You go along till two seconds, my acceleration is constant. Uh, we won't be dealing with graphs where the acceleration has a diagonal. It's only going to be a horizontal. Um, when it comes from two to four seconds, I'm accelerating, but the acceleration is negative two meters per second squared. So acceleration is that way for this interval. Let's look at the area. The area of this shape is base times height. So I've got the area here is equal to three times two, which is six. Let's look at the units. This is three meters per second, and this is two, uh, sorry, meters per second square, and this base is seconds. So meters per second square times seconds gives us meters per second. So the area for the first part is 6 meters per second. It's positive, so that would be forward or east. So what does that mean? What it means is that in the first two seconds, I've increased my speed. It doesn't mean necessarily I'm going 6 meters per second east. We don't know what the object was doing according to this graph before. It's not a velocity time graph, so it doesn't tell us what its original speed was. But all I know is, whatever my speed was, I've increased it by 6 meters per second towards the east. So if the object was at rest, well, yes, now I would be going 6 meters per second east. Let's find the area over here. This was uh, plus 6 meters per second. This area is going to be negative. It's base times height. Well, I've got the area here is negative 2 times uh, 2 which is uh, negative four meters per second. So that area is four meters per second west. These really are the change in velocity. My velocity is changed by six meters per second towards the east, and in this case, my velocity is changed by four meters per second towards the west. Am I going four meters per second at that point? No. As soon as we started at zero, if the object wasn't moving at the beginning, then in this space, the speed has increased. We were accelerating, the speed has increased to six meters per second. Then the speed decreased by four. So that means the object is going, if it started at zero meters per second, it's now traveling at two meters per second towards east. It's slowed down. So I sped up, slowed down. There's not much else we do with acceleration time graphs. That's pretty much it.